Nana, if we don't make it out of here, I just want you to know. I'm Blanchard. We don't have time for this. I can only talk about one game. <laughs> I don't regret this decision. Okay, so if somehow you don't already know about this franchise, let me hit you up with a little bit of history. The Walking Dead is an extensive comic book series by Robert Kirkman. The comic's popularity garnered a TV show on AMC by 2010. It's a pretty neat and complicated drama. With... with zombies. Anywho, a couple years later, the studio that creates the modern Monkey Island and Sam and Max series, Telltale Games, released one of the most popular zombie games and winner of over 90 Game of the Year awards. Less than a year later, though, Activision released this. Survival Instinct. I'll give you a quick rundown of Activision's game. It's not good. It's shoddy. Don't buy it. Really, the only reason I think this game ever got off the shelves is because of Daryl's handsome, handsome face. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Norman Reedus. Here, have some money and Hello Kitty merch. Just, just take all of it. <sighs> if you want a good zombie shooter game, there's many others to choose from that are way better than this. So, without a further ado, let's look at a good Walking Dead game. You're Lee in this game, a former professor to the University of Georgia. Go dogs! I don't, I don't get football. Without giving too much away, one thing leads to another, and bam! Zombie apocalypse. Isn't that how they all start? Just, it just happens. You're doing your best to survive in this hell that you once called civilization. Now, let me tell you, this isn't a zombie shooter. Yes, there is shooting, and yeah, you have a party for a lot of the game, but this is what I would call more like an adventure book game. I don't know about kids today, but when I was younger, you could find an adventure book in your library. It would say something like, You venture deep into the forest and find a cave. Do you go into the cave or not? Yeah! Go to page 34. Alright. Oh no, a dragon! <clears throat> yeah, that's a pretty simplified way of putting it. This game is filled with many choices and the effect of details of the plot. Now, this isn't the first game of its kind, but it's a pretty nice change to the Zompocalypse genre of gaming. Zombies are a threat, but a lot of the challenge within the game comes from developing, maintaining, and changing human relationships in order to survive. As a result, I felt pretty attached to these characters. Whether it's hatred, or love, remorse, or annoyance, everyone brings something to the table. A lot of times in games, it takes a long time for me to care, and even if they die, I think, ugh, oh, crap! because that person was a part of my strategy, a prop or tool for my victory. In The Walking Dead, I get legit upset. One's character's death, that I will not name, actually haunted me when I tried to sleep for a couple of nights. And that's really the heart of this game. The writing is key, and you get so invested when something happens, the feeling is genuine. It only goes to show how important a story can be. Looks like the developers know how to tell. A good tale? Uh... I'm sorry, please don't hurt me. Also, this game has possibly one of the best children characters in game history. I'm not giving anything away, I just can't remember a time I've actually cared about a child this much. Now, this game is not perfect, sure. The worst I've seen are some visual bugs and cinematic scenes here and there, but they're more funny than harmful. But why am I talking about a popular game that came out last year? Well, over the summer, they released a DLC, 400 days, for 5 bucks. That with the game comes to $30, which is the limit I reach on cheaper games. 400 Days explores trials that other people faced during the first 400 days when the world went to crap. Some of these people you may recognize as side characters from the original game. It has a little bit of perspective on this world, but ultimately affects the sequel which will come out this fall. Ooh, Clemmy! Hey, you made it! Thanks for checking out our videos. Like, subscribe, and all that jazz. Felt a little bit bad for reviewing something on the side of $30, so next month I'm gonna review something pretty awesome, but pretty cheap at the same time. Like, seriously, five bucks. So, uh, yeah. Wait for that, and keep being awesome. Not out.